There are seven levels of the Crucible. So we're just on one. So only level one, the start of each run with an extra stone and stones have less one on crit. So not too bad. So we want Suffer the Sling. So it basically negates our uh, weak stones in the Crucible. <laughs> we just have one extra now. Yeah, but they're three fives, which I'm fine with. And then I think, yeah, let's just clear out this area where the bombs are. I mean, that was a pretty good clear. Let me wait for... Um, I guess we go ahead and try and hit the bomb. Kind of didn't want to hit the refresh, if I'm being honest. But we'll just clear it again, because the refresh is all the way on the right side now. And I guess we could have skipped out on the dagger. I guess it doesn't matter. Did the world record get reset with the update uh, for Peglin? I think they're doing it by like by version or something. I don't really know how they're doing it. But like, I kind of quit doing. Like I, I still time myself, but I think someone beat it in like 14 minutes. Uh, let's see, can I bounce into the, no. Let's see, hit the bomb, please. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I saw someone, they beat it in 14 minutes and basically they didn't like fight a single enemy except for the bosses. Like they just got so lucky. Uh, we'll do the Orbalisk because we have so many rocks. But yeah, like this, like there were none of these. It was all mysteries and all treasure chest and all the mysteries, uh, they didn't come across any enemies. <laughs> Uh, for the most part. So yeah, it's like, it's just a ton of luck now. And yeah, I saw the Stackland speedrun. The Stackland speedrun actually looks pretty fun. I might try the Stackland speedrun. Because this, like, it's just turned into luck. It's just turned into getting good, uh, like, maps. Um, I mean, let's do this. But yeah, the stack lands, there's no luck involved. It's just like <laughs> how fast you can click. <laughs> Which is kind of cool. Uh, let's see. Let's go for the bomb. If possible. That works for me. Let's see. I think I just hit the refresh. Go for 12. We want to... Hmm. I like the Ekorb. I think. And then I want to... I want to hit all these treasure chests. So I think I just hop over to the left. Yeah, I'm fine with getting all these relics. I guess I could go for... Uh, the mini boss. I think I'm fine with the random. All right, well, we do enough here. And then we have a free hit on the refresh, which is good. This map's kind of annoying. I feel like... Or it's not like... It's just very, very slow. Because there's only one bomb, and all the slimes are stronger than the bombs anyways. Uh, so we hit this refresh. And I guess we're looking for more stones here. Or we're looking for the thing that duplicates all of our orbs. Let's see. And then trash you. Hopefully hit the crit. That's fine. Yeah, this map isn't hard at all. It just takes so long. This map works really well. Yeah, the uh, 
the powder collector, I think. For every 30 pegs, you get a bomb. Yeah, any way to get more bombs on this board is really, really strong. We're just going to go for the this one. Um, Bold Orb is good. That way we get Pierce. And then when we get the uh, other one, level 3, it gets scaled with Bold Orbs as well. The uh, Orbalisk. Uh, corn is always great. I'm not going to try and explode those. Yeah, I think I take the treasure chest. Uh, immune to damage while reloading is good. I, this is a good board, though. There are, what, three or two extra treasure chests? Uh, the refill a buster. Whenever the board is refreshed, deal damage target enemy equal to the number of pegs restored. Or the refresh shield. Refreshes the board on every reload. I think we get the ref refillibuster. Or we hope for the refillibuster. Alright, we're not going to get it. <laughs> um, okay, we get the worst one. Alright, now we hope for... The treasure chest. Oh, I think we got a good shot at it. Well, <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> oh, well, we still got one. Look at that. Okay, now where do we want to go? We want to go to the right to hit this mini boss. A lot of these mysteries have just been relics. I like that one. First time catching a Peglin stream, anything special going on? Well, we're doing the Crucible, which is like the hard mode. And every time you beat it, it gets harder. But it's just the first level of it. Let's see, yeah, we just open up. Uh, we really don't want to hit the refresh. Yeah, well, we did. And then this refresh is kind of in an annoying spot as well. Let's see. We hit the refresh again. I hate when the refreshes are up top. I just want these bombs. I don't want the pegs to be refreshed. Don't go over there. There we go. I need to hit... No, I already hit three, so we're good. Alright, uh, another stone I'm happy with. And then we go for the mini boss. Thank you so much for the gifted Kalua. What does grabby hand do? It uh, Flying enemies are attacked horizontally. So sometimes when flying enemies are up, you kind of shoot it at an angle, so you can't uh, hit two of them with a pierce. But now it'll go across uh, completely horizontally. Which helps. It's not too great, because there's not really a ton of flying enemies. But uh, Let's see. That does no damage. I also target you, I think. Hopefully we'll do 250. Um, okay, we do. And then, I think we go to the right. Hope for the refresh. We don't. Maybe we go for the refresh on the left. Probably easier to get. Uh, let's see. Hmm. This refresh is so hard to get to. Let's bounce to the left. <laughs> this is such a crappy board. Uh, let's bounce to the left. How about to the right now? Okay, never mind. We'll just get the crit. Hopefully, somehow go. All right. All right, that's in a good spot. No, it's not. We'll throw this way. <laughs> this board's basically empty. I mean, we're just, we got to clean out. It's like perfectly blocked by three things. Uh, I mean, we just got to clear it. I don't think going around it is the way to go. We're not going to die. 
Maybe we'll bounce up and hit that one. All right, it's, it's in our sights. This is like the smallest board I've ever seen. There we go. And we almost have a kill, and we kill it anyways. Okay, so <laughs> that, that wasn't worth it. We'll upgrade the Orbalisk. Uh, I like the extra crits, definitely. I don't think we're going to have an issue with the, the slime at all, because we have the Orbalisk that's level 2. Uh, let's upgrade the Orbalisk. Yeah, so now uh, bold orbs count and also orbalisks count. Um, yeah. Which is good. Um, let's see. I don't even care about using the dag orb. I just open up the middle. And hopefully don't hit the refresh. Or hopefully don't already hit the bomb okay yeah but here you'll see the grabby hand it shoots like that way now I think I just throw over here uh, refresh is fine I was really just trying to hit like one orb and we're doing 400 damage <laughs> Uh, let's see, do this. We wait for more to spawn to hit this bomb. Uh, let's see, this only hits enemies on the ground. Now we can clear out the bomb for next turn. Okay. New trinket that does 20 times the number of reloads. That seems pretty good if you, uh, like, don't have a ton of orbs. Alright, now I just have to do 15 twice. Or 5 twice. We got the, uh, catalyst I forgot about. Okay, can't use that. Hit the crit. Thank goodness we actually hit one. Okay, let's get the, um... Yeah, let's get the multi-ball. I like the multi-ball. If we level it up and maybe get like a power glove or something, it'll be really strong. Okay, I really want to hit the crit here. So we bounce right here and hopefully just fall down the side. Oh, we were so close to hitting the crit. That's fine. And then we roll just down this side as well. I feel like that ah, was a bad bounce. Like multi-ball so much you want to grab the relic again? Uh, I don't like the multi-ball relic. <laughs> I like the multi-ball orb. That relic, I, I don't, I don't see how that relic's good. It just seems so bad. I've tried going for the bombs on the side before I get eaten. It just, I don't know, it doesn't feel that good. Cause like, it takes a turn to open up right here. And then you fall in here and don't really do a ton. I mean, I'm gonna get eaten now, which is like, it's way too late to do it anyways. So I guess I can't really show, prove my point. All right, so now I need to hit this refresh. Yeah, let's hopefully bounce into the refresh. Yeah, we'll throw it and get it next turn. And then we can just throw the multi-ball. Alright, um, hmm. I think I just hit the refresh here. Hopefully find a crit for this one. This boss is so unfun. Yeah, I know. The, uh, like, the slime balls, like, it, I don't know. It's not, like, hard, but we'll get another one of these. Okay. Um, all attacks have minus two, minus three. Uh, I don't want to do that. We'll do the Electro Pegnet. I think it 
upgrade it a little bit. I don't really like any of the other ones. The kinetic one's pretty fun, but... Three treasure chests on the right? I mean, I'll do that. I do need a... Uh, like, some bomb-related relics. As well as some pierce uh, relics. At least we had two bombs, so we get through the shield. Alright, that one fell straight down. <laughs> Hopefully we do 30. Okay, yeah, that's good. Uh, yeah, shield health got lowered, which is great. Um, I'd like to go for the bombs, maybe. Yeah, that's good. So now we're gonna... We need to do... What is it, 80 damage? We didn't do 80 damage. So hopefully we can hit another bomb. Yeah, we... Wait for this one. All right, we hit one at least. <laughs> they need more pierce alternatives? Yeah, I think so. I guess I also need to buy like more ice, uh, ice orbs or ice circles or whatever they're called. And my echo orb's kind of uh, useless. Let's upgrade. The bold orb. I think we need to upgrade our pierce. Okay, so the right side we definitely go because it's like three extra chests. Yeah, the overhammer's good for pierce. And the bold orb, I guess, will be nice. Hmm. I trash. I think I just work my way towards the bold orb in case I don't like kill these already. I actually kind of like not having Pierce against the mirrors because Pierce with the mirrors, like the second one that doesn't die, does like a lot of damage back to you. Assuming you can one shot him each time. Which like all you have to do is like a little bit less than 400. Okay, I'll fall down. And then, yeah, we'll just do the multi-ball. Hopefully we hit a crit and a refresh. I don't think we... Eh, we might do enough. Probably not. Mmm, no. we do 600. we do 18 damage back. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, if you, like, pierce and all three of them do damage back, you can be taking so much damage. Well, that was enough damage. Upgrade the bold orb again. And let's get our three treasure chests. Hopefully we get the uh, the pierce uh, relic. Uh, refreshes on board. Um, oh, refreshes the board every reload. That's not that great because we have so many orbs. And we're wanting to duplicate them because of our... Uh, Orbalisk. Uh, refresh also gives a crit. Good. Uh, okay. They contribute to damage. Those are kind of like meh relics, but that's fine. Okay, we really want to get to the bold orb, which is down there. Let's kill you. Actually, we'll kill you because you do the most damage. Because the bold orb, we're hopefully just going to kill everything. I assume. As long as this, like, it's a refresh, maybe? Hmm. I think we just try and hit a refresh now. Yeah, go... Okay. Go down. Go down. Hit that one. Hit the... There we go. And now you can fall. Because we've already done enough to kill your shield. 
Oh, I wish that crit stayed. That'd be so nice. Oh, it's right there. That's fine. Now, realistically, I only want to do two. Like, I just really need to do 200. But, like, the more the merrier for uh, this big guy. Oh, yeah, that was good. Yeah, that's the main reason I leveled up the Bulldor. Like, I know leveling up the multi-ball one's really nice to have. But, uh... It doesn't really do well with Pierce yet. Uh, we just over here. Hopefully we do 116. I think we will. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I think we're good here. And then we just have to do 90, unless you heal for like 25 or something, which isn't too bad. Honestly, we should probably just get rid of this one. I guess it'll be stronger later on. Maybe. I don't know. Okay, it definitely said I was going to hit the crit there. <laughs> OG Magnet was way too strong, because it didn't like diminish. The magnet strength, like, never went away. And the boards would just last forever. Okay, we'll level up one of these. Over... W hammer. Uh, actually... We'll take a mystery and then take another, uh... Treasure chest. Assuming this will maybe be the one that upgrades or duplicates our orbs. Yeah, the pierce is nice to have. Uh, I like the turtle. I think I can just shoot straight down. Ooh, close. And then... That's fine, because we're going to be going in the middle anyways, I think. Or we can go for the mini boss. I guess it depends on what the... Uh... If it's the wall, yeah, we can go to the mini boss, because our health doesn't matter uh, against the wall. So getting an extra relic, like there's no risk of losing health against it. Um, I'll trash. I want to just hit the crit. And the pierce will be nice. But see, this is the problem with the pierce. If I don't do enough, I guess I don't. it's not going to reach this other one, so we're fine. Okay. Yeah, hopefully we'll just do enough to kill. But I think we will. Yeah, we're good. This might take a second to fall down. <laughs> I think the, the best combo I've found, or that I really like, is the uh, the magnet with the durable pegs. I think that's really, really good. Okay, upgrade, get you to level three. Okay, what is going on? I'm just gonna try and throw. Hopefully you just fall down. Maybe not in the fire. Mm, maybe. Maybe. There we go. Yeah, Magnet Durable is really good on the QR code, too. Alright, yeah, I'm fine with you. I think I'll do enough. I haven't used the Orbalisk in so long. Like, since the forest, I think. Or no, I used it against the uh, little mini guys, or the other mini boss. Yeah, go for the crit. I think we'll do a lot. Hopefully we can stay up a little bit. That's fine. Get another crit. Uh, that wasn't that much. Yeah, I want the, uh, I want the fleece. I just have, I have the, uh, like, so many crits. I have, what, four crits on the board? Uh, thank you so much for the gifted Kahlua. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, stay up a little bit. Like, we hit, what, 
three or four crits there because we also have the refresh that triggers crits as well. So hopefully we get the fleece. Let's see, that's good. Yeah, I don't think you're a problem at all. And then we'll just throw this. This level three is ridiculous. <laughs> it wasn't like, it, I mean, the Boldor did more damage. Or I guess not on this one. That's so satisfying. All right, I think. Hmm. Maybe we'll go the Bob Orb, I guess. Uh, whenever an enemy's defeated, refresh the board. Crits also refresh the board. I think we do that because we have so many crits. The Orbsium? Yeah, the Orbsium's fun. I could have gone that one. Uh, offer stone? Uh, no. I want to keep my stone. Alright, I'm assuming I'll be able to do enough to you. Um... We just skip. And we'll just... Because we have to deal with these guys. I don't think our pierce is going to do enough. We just go for the uh, orbalisk. And then we throw on the right side. Because this is all clear. Hopefully we get this refresh right before they fall down. Yeah, that's huge. And now... You give them the suck. And we go for the crit. And you'll do a lot of damage. Hopefully you stay up a little bit. Because you're our strongest orb right now. And we only have one of you. Also, the refresh would be nice. I guess that's decent. And then we just, like, keep crashing for our better ones. Definitely go you. And clear the whole board. <laughs> Uh, I wish we would have hit the refreshes over there. Because now the board's kind of empty. Which kind of scares me. Because sometimes, like, if you throw it... Like, I'm not going to swap to the bold orb. I think I just want to get over here. Because sometimes it might just roll out. Luckily, it did. I hate when it gets stuck and just keeps funneling down the middle. And then you waste, like, a ton of throws. But here, I'm going to throw over here. Because these refreshes are in an easy-to-grab spot. The wall's kind of tough sometimes. Like, I feel like sometimes, like... Because you can only play it so well. Like, if you just have bad orbs, you might just lose. Like, I think there's some combinations of, like, orbs and stuff where it's just impossible to beat the wall. Um, let's see. Yeah, that's fine. It'll kill bomb builds unless you got sapper. Yeah, but even that, like, its health is, like, just strong enough. Uh, or just high enough to where, like, you could kill yourself with sapper before you kill it. Um, okay, since there's a crit, we'll use this one. If there wasn't, I was gonna just trash it. But I'm fine with, uh, having an easy crit. And then we hit the refresh, which is good. I don't think we're worried. Yeah, you're gonna do a decent amount with the crit. I feel like the wall might reduce build diversity. Yeah. It is, because it's a very straightforward fight. And if you don't have like strong orbs, then you're kind of done for. I'm also glad we have the extra crits and the extra refreshes. I think having a lot of options for refreshes is really good against the wall. Because, like, sometimes the refreshes will be, like, hidden in a corner. And then it's really hard to get to, and then you just lose because of it. Um, I'll go over here. 
try and get this refresh towards the end. Try and get a refresh towards the end, maybe. Hopefully, I'll get this one. Yeah, that was good. And now the Orbalisk is hopefully going to do enough to kill. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, and I feel like Sapersack probably falls off the more you get into the Crucible. Just because stuff has more health. And it's probably easier to uh, just like die off of it. Okay, let's take another Orbalisk. Sapersack? No. <laughs> I love the durable with uh, the build we have. With the magnet and stuff. And the, uh, like, multi-ball. Alright. Let's see, what do we got? Honestly, I don't even think we need to fight any more mini-bosses. I think we're strong enough to beat the QR code pretty easily. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. With Durable? That's so satisfying. That wasn't even that much damage, but that's okay. I guess you're still sticking around. And we hit, what, three bombs? Four bombs? All right. Um, I think we're fine. We're not going to do enough damage on this throw, I don't think. But we will on the next. They move so fast. <laughs> All right, yeah, we're good. Let's see. Yeah, we're good against you. Upgrade... The multi-ball. Toss it down. I would like to get the power glove. I think the power glove would be probably the best relic for us right now. Um, I'll just grab an orb. I don't want to get rid of half of them. Yeah, I'll definitely just go for this. Hopefully we'll do 400 and... 44? Uh, we definitely do. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> that was enough. You have a ton of reflect damage, though. Like, if you don't one-shot, you're kind of screwed there. Alright, we'll level up you again. And then... Uh, yeah, we'll just take mysteries. Hope for more relics, maybe? I think we hope for the power glove. Or that. Um, this is fine. Yeah, this is a decent amount of damage. The only thing is durable on this map is kind of tough because you just kind of like roll down both sides. I guess it's okay. This will help with the durable a little bit. A tiny bit, I guess. And we do have overflow. Uh, the Power Glove just gives you plus one, plus one, uh, attack and crit on all your orbs, which is pretty good. Uh, I don't use the Orbalisk, because I want my, uh, overflow for my hammer. Now I can use it. Hit the crit. Hopefully do 400. Yeah, the only thing that sucks is there's some boards that, like, are... Kinda bad with, uh, durable. Like, without the magnet, this, like, the durable, it just kinda, like, funnels you down to the bottom and you fall straight through. And I think it's really hard to, uh, like, do really well. Unless you have the magnet as well as the durable. Alright. Let's see, what do we get? We get to upgrade... I think our Orbalisk again. And then we grab a... Relic. May I have the Power Glove? That's the Gardener's Glove. 
That's actually useless. We're not going up against any slimes. Like, ever. I'm just gonna go to the left. I don't need to fight any mini-bosses. Because we're definitely strong enough. Um, yeah, I'll just throw this. Hopefully we hit a crit. Yeah. The overflow is kind of weird with this one. I think this one sucks up all of the 800 damage. I could be wrong, though. Okay, I was very wrong. <laughs> I think the mirror does something weird with the overflow hammer. Like it sucks up its health worth instead of how much damage you do to it, maybe. All right, get you level three. All right, we gotta get you down in there. And then we'll just hug the left, or the right side, I think. There were no mini bosses there. What do we get, apple? You know what, I'll take it. Pretty sure it used to suck up overflow. Okay. Um. So. I'm not really happy about using this one. Because it only hits the two on the bottom. But I guess it's okay. It was better than the Echo Orb. Because we hadn't done anything yet. Um. Oh, I wish you were guys were in a uh, line. I mean, we do have the... Uh, see, this is where the grabby hand comes into like play. Because it'll shoot horizontally, so now we'll kill both of these. Yeah. Which is good. And now we do it again. Yeah. So the grabber's good in like a few situations. So grabby hand is good. Uh, I mean, like, it's just very, like, you typically get grabby hand, like, um, refresh orb? No, no, no. You typically get grabby hand, like, after you leave the forest, and there's only, like, two maps that have flying things. So it's, like, I don't know, it's kind of useless for the most part. Okay, this board is kind of annoying with, uh, durable. But the magnet, I think, helps a little bit. But it's still like, this map sucks with durable. This is what I lost on last time because I had durable. Because instead of being able to open up these diamonds, you just like bounce off and fall straight down. Which really sucks. Uh, but we'll be good with the multi-ball, I think. Because it'll like, break open a lot and then we'll be able to use at least I'm assuming it'll break open a lot yeah I think we hit a red bomb which is great so it kills all those overflow does a decent amount yeah and I think I don't go for the orbalisk just because it only targets one but knowing my luck I'm just yeah I'm gonna fall straight down <laughs> We're still okay. Alright. Well, that was nice. Are we, uh... There we go. <laughs> yeah, this new board's hard. But like it's easy with the red bombs. So like, let's see. I'll just uh, I'll just heal up. I think. I'll just shoot straight down. They increase the time for the respawn. Yeah. Oh, this is a new one as well. I'll just throw right here. I think durable will kind of funnel me down to the bottom, and hopefully I'll hit the bombs. Cause hopefully the magnet will still be somewhat strong to hit the bombs. I'll throw it in this one now. Alright, we'll just fall straight through.
Get all the level one stones. Yeah. At least it helps with the Orblisk. And at least it helps uh, that we have the sling. What do the arrows do? They're kind of like the mirrors. They like damage you back. I'm pretty sure. Alright, let's try and throw in here again. Alright, we'll bounce back out. <laughs> All right, please hit this one. Um, we'll go over here. No, we won't. Oh, they also lock your aim. That makes sense. I guess that's not too important. Like unless I'm doing like Orbalisk or something like that. It's probably not that big of a deal. All right. Now we hit the bomb. Okay, um... Any of these do I care about? I think I just healed a full. I don't think I wanted any of those. We just have two more. I'm ready for the new mine boss. Alright, I definitely don't do the uh, multi-ball. The magnet kind of scares me with this map. Just because it like try it tries to make me hit these bombs. Yeah, so I don't do that. And then this this does 40 damage. So I think I just go straight down. Because uh, I wait for these to spawn. And then I maybe try and open up this side a little bit. If possible. I just don't want to take too much damage. So I'd like for these to spawn. Yeah, that's okay. Oh, we almost did enough? Alright, now we can just throw this and hopefully do enough damage. Which I think we will. Yeah, we definitely will. Because we hit one bomb. And we do 300 anyways. All right, and then we just heal, go to the mystery. Um, there we go. And then hopefully it's nothing, and then we just kill the QR code boss. No, oh, it's the hidden one. All right, I'll just throw the multi-ball. Have we not hit a crit yet? It said crit. The numbers are just white, I guess, because it's uh, dark. Yeah. Hopefully the overflow is pretty good. I don't know what uh, minions are on this map. Okay, we got through like four of them it seems. Alright. Thank you so much for the resub, Revo. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Swoltorb is so satisfying on this map. Oh, I know, yeah. I had Swoltorb with the uh, uh, relic that had multi-ball, and like you could see the whole map, basically. Because it showed the uh, like numbers on all the pegs. This is doing more damage than the multi-ball did. Just a level one dag orb. <laughs> I think it's five of the uh, suicide guys. And then the upside down mini balls. Okay. Yeah, I've noticed the one at the back has a ton of health. And the ones in the front don't. So that would make sense. But we might have enough damage to get through. I think we only have one left and then this guy. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, we just have one guy and then you. All right. Upgrade. The dagger, I guess. 
What do we want? Uh, two additional refreshes. Sure. I like all the refreshes and the crits. Especially with the uh, multi-ball and the durable. I really want to use my multi-ball on this guy. Yeah, so we trash. Wait for the multi-ball. Hitting the bombs early is good. Yeah, I think this one will be an easy win. Are you going for a challenge? Uh, I'm playing the Crucible mode. It's like the hard mode. This is just level one. All right. So I think we wait uh, and throw into this one with the multi-ball. So we hit the refresh off the beginning. And then we see how long it sticks around. Oh yeah, that feels nice. <laughs> how many we got sticking around? We got like six left? Okay, we got only a few left now. Are you stuck? No, you're good. Maybe hit another refresh? Oh, they're all over there. Maybe? Oh, you almost hit that one over there. Wait a second. This one's staying around for, around for so long. Oh, we hit another refresh. Love watching the corn over here whenever you throw the multi-ball, yeah. We hit almost every single bomb except for this cluster. You're at 14. Okay, let's target you, and then we do this one, and then we wait for this refresh over here. So we get the refresh and the crit. Let's see, I'd like to hopefully one shot. I might not. I guess it depends on if you stay around. Um, we need to do 2842. Uh, 25, 26. Nope. All right. All right, let's see how fast the corn moves when we first throw this thing. <laughs> That's pretty good. We should have targeted the bottom one because it has 24. But we're definitely going to kill the top two at least. What does the corn do? Every 12 pegs you hit, you heal, uh, you heal one. Yeah, we're definitely overkilling these top two. By a lot. <laughs> oh, wait, no, we killed him with the bombs, so we just... Okay, we're good. Nice. All right, that is level one of the Crucible done. So we have level two now. Which level two is mini bosses can appear in question marks. 